Yo, 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 check this out! Oh, it has started. <laughs> no, I better not start this one off like that. The wife would take the piss. Um, I keep staring at myself in the piss and telly. I'll have to do something about that because it's driving me nuts. And of course, I know for a fact you lot. Anyway, pickups! What have we got for you? Well, we've got. We've always got games. We've got a few games. In fact, I'm looking at the pile now. There's plenty of retro games amongst this lot. Not too many. I nearly said current gen. I've not got any current gen. Uh, but what I have got a big stack of is old paper. Zap 64 old paper. Right, let's get on with it. Started properly. Let's get the beer going. Um, I think I'm turning into Stu. You know, Stu, to the UK. I'm on Carlsberg. And again, I keep staring at the piss and telly, sorry. Um, I think it's old age because strong beer really does start to hurt me. So I've whacked it down to Carlsberg. Oh, very nice. Right, looking at it properly. I've got PS4. I've got Xbox One. I've got Wii U. I've got PlayStation 1. I've got Neo Geo CD. I've got NES. I've got PlayStation 3 collectible. I've got Hit Squad. Commodore 64 Hit Squad. And then we've got a big pile of paper. So... I'll start with, I suppose, the NES, seeing that that's closest to being... Well, no, the Hit Squad's probably the oldest. But, anyway. Dr. Mario for the NES. And again, my eyes are twitching. <laughs> Stop it, just stare at the camera. Dr. Mario for the NES. The box... There's a little bit of a tear there, but we can certainly fix that. The cartridge. Yes, looks in cracking condition. It is complete. So we've got our sleeve. We've got our instructions. We've even got a little bit of a poster of what was coming up. Free membership. I love finding stuff like this still. Club Nintendo, P.O. Box 104, Fair and Hans, P.O. 16.8, U.R. England. Absolutely fantastic. The manual is lovely and crisp. And if you've never played this, basically, it's like a Tetris clone. That's all it is. A Tetris clone. Except it's Dr. Dr. Mario. <sighs> Sorry. Now, to go with it, I spotted an amiibo, and I'm not big on collecting amiibos. Uh, the plastic case is still sealed, although it's a bit bent. Number 42, Dr. Mario. And again, I'm staring at myself in the telly. I just thought he looked rather quaint and funny. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, that was a big one. Big sneeze. Do apologise. So, Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Collection, Dr. Mario number 42. I don't collect these. In fact, this is the second one I've got in my collection. I believe, excuse me. Uh, that's from Splatoon. 
but I couldn't tell you any more than that. Let's put it back there. So yeah, I quite liked the look of it. Whether or not I'll rip it open completely, I don't know. I would like to certainly get... I don't know if you can make that out. So yeah, there you go. That's a horrible glue mark. I've got some lovely glue remover, which will remove that in seconds. But I've got to be careful, because <laughs> if you put too much on, it'll melt the plastic. So that's, that's it for the NES. I've not got a huge stack of games. I've... Um, sort of controlled my spending quite a bit just recently so we'll move it on over to now the playstation one i can't remember if Stu's picked this one up recently s l ooh, low number s l e s treble zero five three as you can see cheesy sorry let's get the glare there we go I am having to stare at myself in the telly now to make sure the glare's gone. But, nice and complete. Manual. All I like about this is it's a classic ocean game. So, I've not even switched it out. The graphics look half decent. I'll try and show you that, get rid of the glare again. There you go. The graphics do look half decent. But uh, happy to add that into this collection. I don't collect PlayStation 1 maybe as much as I should. But it is what it is. Now I'll dive on over next to the Neo Geo CD. And I was going to do a bit of a playthrough on this. And I suddenly remembered my bloody joysticks broke. So I've got to get that repaired or get it replaced. But I've picked up the last, sorry, the glare, the last resort for the Neo Geo CD. And this is in cracking condition. Just so you can see it, the end sleeves. Your instruction booklet is part of the front cover. There you have it. Sorry, look at the glare on that. And this is a cracking shooter. If you're into your shooters, this is certainly one. It's not cheap. Not cheap one little bit. But compared to the cart, the cartridge, this is a million miles away from the price of that. So, check it out. Um, what are we going to go to next? Xbox original. Oh, excuse me. Now, it's a game I've already got on the PlayStation 2. In fact, these are a lot harder to pick up on the PlayStation 2. But Project Zero is a brilliant horror game. Terror reveals itself frame by frame. Also goes by the name of Fatal Frame, if you weren't sure. So I've got that. The second one is a lot dearer, I, and I think that's where they ended it. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but they only did one and two on the Xbox. I don't think third, the third one got a look in, but please tell me if I'm wrong. We're rattling through this slot. Yeah, I'll do these next, and then what we might do then is do the hit squad, do the old paper, and then we'll finish off. So, for the Wii U, I've got Rabbit Lands, complete in the box. Uh, the rabbits have invaded our beloved amusement park, so these are always crazy fun. So, happy to put that in. Because I have to, because I'd like to get a full collection, but just Dance 2016. Surprised to see that's actually got a manual. Now this one can be a bit pricey, but I picked this up off CEX. And it was half the price of what it was going on eBay. Um, I can only paid a tenner for this. So you'll pay anything up to 30 quid. 20, 30 quid. Comes complete in the box. Surprised at that as well, because I couldn't remember. But it is Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventure. So that adds another three games to my Wii collection. That is a collection I would really like to get completed. 
sooner rather than later. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, there's a few games on it. There's one I watched recently, sold for 150 quid, and I'm trying for the life of me. And it was a hunting game. I can't remember any more than that, but it was like 150 quid, really? For a Wii game? I know there's a few out there that go for a lot more money than that, but I was quite surprised. So, three games I've added to the Wii. You. <laughs> right, we're going to do Hit Squad next. So, right, Hit Squad. Hit Squad, Commodore 64 Hit Squad. Um, I'm not heavily collecting these. I'm just taking my time. But there was a good pile of them. Excuse me. Beer's a bit gassy. Um, there was a good pile of them that came up and I just snapped them. I know there's, that there is the odd one or two duplication, I know that. But until I get my games out of the loft, I'm not going to know. And I'm going to be reformatting the way we store them. So I'll quickly go through these. Oh, God, it really is gassy. Let's have some more. <laughs> so, oh, Stallone, Rambo 3. And if you're young and you don't know what cassettes are, <laughs> God blimey, there you go. These are all on cassette. So there's one. Batman, the Cape Crusader. What an absolute classic. Sorry, I am going to have to keep looking at the tally, make sure I take the glare off the games. The incredible Afterburner. In fact, let's get a bit closer. There you go, Afterburner. The New Zealand Story. Oh, what a cracking platform game that is. Oh, it's like my nemesis, this one. But the incredible Green Beret. What a fantastic game. And who doesn't love Bubble Bobble? Come on, who doesn't love that? What a fantastic game. Let's pull these over here. Oh yes, James Bond 007 Licensed to Kill. IK Plus. Now name me the actor that's on the front of that. Come on. Who is he? Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back. David, any of these valuable, please let me know. Because I haven't got a clue. Operation Wolf. Enduro Racer. Oh, yes. Target Renegade. And the last one. Arkanoid. They actually made Breakout cool again with that one. Now, that's a fair stack. That is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hit squad games. Now, how many have I got in total now? I haven't got a bloody clue. I need to print myself off a list or get a list on the computer and start ticking them off. I don't know where I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm absolutely nowhere near to completing that one. <laughs> absolutely. But David, let me know if any of them are worth anything because I haven't got a bloody clue. And again, all on tapes. Oh, look at that. Star Choice Software this was purchased from for two ninety nine. Cassette tapes. Right, we're going to move on now to some old paper. Right, so back in the day, when I was a kid still at school, everybody, and I mean everybody, had one of two computers. We weren't playing on NESs or anything mad like that, or Atari 2600s. We were playing on, oh, or at least my generation. <laughs> Can't catch a break. That was the phone. And I can't see the damn thing, so I hope it doesn't continue. Uh, yes, my generation, or at least 
a lot of my generation. You either had a Spectrum, ZX Spectrum, or a Commodore 64. Now, I was well and truly in the Commodore 64 camp. Loads of magazines were out back in the day. But if you really were a big Commodore lover, there was really only one. And that was Zap 64. As the years went on, it changed from Zap 64 to Zap Amiga. I'm going to have to find that damn phone. Because I can't be doing somebody messaging me every two minutes. So let's just click that two off. There we go. Right, so. Yeah, where was I? Zap 64 was certainly one of the better magazines on the block at the time. Now, when it came out back in, and I'm going to guess at the age before I look at the magazine to remind myself, I'm going to say 1983, 84, 85. Do you know what? I should have just gone with my instincts. 1985, you paid 95p for it. It came out once a month, and we just used to walk down to the shops in our lunch break at school, grab a butty, and grab a zap. And it was as simple as that. So, there is issue one. Sorry about the glare. Issue one. Let's get it level. Zap 64. For the age, it is in absolutely cracking condition. I've put it in these wallets. So this was May 1985. And the big game, as you saw then, was Elite. It was actually originally, I believe, called Elite 64. But it, they just dropped that and just called it Elite. And that's because it originally came out on the BBC Electron. So 50 pages of reviews, the new miner, 2049er, pole position, beyond, new sizzler, super Huey, mama llama, cauldron, etc, etc. And what a magazine. I recently picked up number 1 to 36. And I will admit, I've spent a small fortune doing it. I've done that because the level of quality is surprisingly good. These all come with all the big posters and everything. There's only a couple of them from this first 35 that don't have everything. Now, I'm just going to quickly see if I can quickly bet you it's in the other big stack. You know, I've got loads of them. As he throws them up out everywhere. You know, I've got absolutely rocks of them. I put them all in these. They're a Ziploc bags, basically. I managed to find on the internet. Chatting to a few of the guys. The I could have just stuck them in normal A4 protective covers. Sorry, that lean in that shot. I just want to try and find this one magazine to give you an idea. But I've got loads of them. Now, I did spend a small fortune, but wh when you average it out per magazine, I didn't pay a great deal. I still paid a lot more than the front asking price, don't get me wrong. But when you consider that that episode, episode that issue one that I showed you, I originally tried to buy that some time ago, and it sold... <laughs> For over £130, I kid you not. These things are getting rarer and rarer. And to get them in the quality that I've got them is unheard of. But I wanted to show you this one. I'm going to take this one out of the wrapper to show you an idea of the quality that I've got it in. And this will be one of the rarest copies of the magazine not because of what it is but because of what it still comes with because chatting to a few of the guys in some of the forums i'm on once they saw it they all agree i very much doubt that that 
its Christmas special back in 1986-87. One still comes with the LM Extra sleeve. And probably the LM Magazine is nowhere to be seen. This is the level of quality that I've got these magazines in. I've still got the 3D glasses. One of the things that are missing, which I'll try to find, are the tapes. These did not come with tapes. But to show you that again, Zap64, that was the Christmas special. In fact, let's take the magazine out. And like I say, the quality of the paper inside, I think is brilliant. Sorry about the glare. So I'm really happy to own this. You know, look at that Yeah Kung Fu 2 on the back. Get in there. So I'm really, really happy to finally start putting these together. Now I know for a fact that out of those 1 to 35, there is at least two or three of those that are worth over £100 each. Who knew that collecting old paper would be so expensive? But I've got some more. The quality's not as good as those, you know, but in some cases these things are 30 bloody years old. But like I say, it went from Zap64 to Zap Amiga. There you go, there's that cover. Robocop on the back. Some hints and tips. So, I really am enjoying collecting. In fact, there's a, there's, I, remember, I remember buying these magazines all those years ago, 30 odd years ago. I remember this. I remember this one. I remember picking this up and thinking, God, how thick is how thick is this one? Christmas special. 228 pages. But this is December 1988. It's a part of history. Unless you buy these magazines or you can get them on digital download, because I've got that on a few of them. You're never gonna know anything about this. And what I really do enjoy finding. You know, computer repairs, bright software sales. Oh, the adverts back then. They're absolutely mental. But it's just brilliant stuff. I never thought I'd get that excited about a damn magazine again. And I am enjoying reading these. And I'm going through them one at a time. I mean, look at that. Pro Ski Simulator, Joe Blade 2. Street Gang, Scorpion. These are the games we were all playing back in the day. So I'm really happy to add these. Zack. Cybernoid 2. Who remembers that? Who remembers Dan Dare 2? And Jesus, he had his own magazine. <laughs> hey, Target Renegade. So, I hope my level of excitement is coming through. I mean, me and a friend, Andy, Andy Burns, bless him. We used to make our own game covers because everybody was recording, recording, copying, tape to tape. It's all we were doing. But we wanted to make our own game covers. We used to hack these magazines to death and make our own game cases who remembers doing that just fantastic memories really fantastic i've not even looked to see how many magazines they had in total oops sorry if you heard that that's just the amiibo falling but i really am genuinely excited about collecting this old paper i'm not collecting any other magazines at the moment i just want to concentrate on that and just collect a few per month but i'm really excited now storing them at the moment they're just sat flat on the floor reading and the way that you should store it and anybody out there please correct me if i am wrong first of all 
what you should be doing is putting in between each page with acid free tissue. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I love these magazines, but I'm not doing that. So I've got them in Ziploc bags. They're actually good for freezing them as well. Got them off eBay. I think there was something like three quid for 50. So I've got 200. So I am dedicated about collecting these magazines. So I give them a quick clean. On some of the covers, it's probably not apparent on this one, not too bad. But see, you got the white there, the zap. You see black specks on some of the others. Now, I'm pretty sure that's where the magazines, because they've been sat on top of each other, that the print and the ink off the backs has been rubbing on the front. I'm looking into that a little bit further about cleaning them a little bit. I don't want to be getting them saturated and ruined. That would be the most worst thing I would ever do. But if anybody's got any hints and tips how to do that, please let me know. Then, do you lie them flat? Do you have them upright? What do you do? From what I'm reading, the best way to store old magazines is in... I suppose it's like a, an office drawer, you know, like a, a binder, a folder. You know, you've got them in the drawers, the A4 folders, and you drop the A4 pieces of paper into. Basically them. Now, I have got an old setup like that here anyway, but it's full of the house, I suppose, invoices, bills, and all that. So I'll have to rearrange a little bit, but that might be the way I store these. It's either that or I know you can get A4 boxes that I could store these in. I think that's it for storing them. So let me know how you guys store it. I'd be very interested because I believe that lying them flat potentially is certainly not the way forward. And just standing them upright just like that in a box isn't right. So they've got to sit in to another folder which will protect them. I believe like that but again if I'm wrong I'm wrong but please tell me right what have we got left PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 3 collectible and then that's it oh right PlayStation 3 collectible now when I first saw this it was originally going for 60 quid in fact the same seller he had about 200 of them. I don't know where the hell he picked them up from, but he had 200 of them. Sorry about the glare again. Fear. Fear 3. I don't know how much of that you can make out on the inside. But this is sealed. So it's the game, the figure, steel book, uh, comic book as well. Now, like I say, he was originally selling these for £60 each. And I've just bided my time and bided my time. And he's two years later, <laughs> he's come down to the last few. I think he's just wanted rid of them because the prices have been slowly coming down, coming down. And it reached the point where it had made me an offer. I made him an offer for 15 quid, and he accepted so I'm really happy to put that in. It's a game, Fear 3 is a game I've never actually played. I've never played this one. The first two were incredible, fantastic games to play back in the day. So do I, don't I crack this open or do I just buy another Fear 3 game? And the last games I've got for the PlayStation 4, I've got two of them. I nearly said three, but I was playing that last night. And the first one, oh, Steve, Retro Red Steve, you were playing this one. It's still sealed, but the seal is slightly ripped. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Sorry about the glare again, guys. So, as you can see, sealed, but just got that little rip there not to worry just oh god sorry about the glare and this last one i just saw it and i thought i'll take a punt on it and again it's sealed now it's from th nordic who generally don't make a bad game but this is fade to silence 
so it is a game I am interested in maybe giving this a blast it does look really tasty I must admit Fate of Silence takes players into a frozen post-apocalyptic world where defying nature threats and enemies is key well, go. I'm reading as good as I write just lately uh, where defying nature threats and enemies is key a compelling mix of puzzling story, a constant strife for resources, balancing short-term needs versus your long-term goals. A tense, atmospheric mood makes the game a unique survival adventure. Well, it's reading right, isn't it? So, give that one a start. I think at some point rather than later. And that's it. Um... Sorry about the glare again. I keep staring at myself in front of that, but I keep doing it for two reasons, to stop the glare, and I can't help myself. And I hope you enjoy this. I'm just, you know, size of the picture. You guys get to see a little bit more around the room. Uh, and it allows me maybe to show off a little bit more. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your comments below. Uh, seen a few videos recently, five games that you want to complete. Wow, that's an interesting topic, that one. I'll, I'll be posting my five, but I think I'm going to keep it to one console at a time. Because I've got hundreds of games I would like to complete. So, watch out for that one. That one might, might surprise you a little bit because I'm going to literally pick a console. I am considering just going with the PlayStation 4 for the moment and listing five games that I've not completed. There's a few shockers in there. There really is a few shockers, which, wow, I can't believe I've not completed the damn things, but you know what it's like. Right. Let's get on with the rest of our day, eh? Cheers, have a good one. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me. I'll catch you lot all again. Take care.